Hey, Artemy from Warbots team here. It is a pleasure to greet you at Icarus Cyber Show. Here, anything is possible, even if it means breaking the laws of physics and meeting mysterious beings from other dimensions. Subscribe! Three platforms and one matchmaking. That's right, you can now meet people from iOS, Android and Amazon in the same match. And that's just a start. We want to make other cross-platform interactions possible later in the year. Things like properly checking people's profiles, making iOS Android clans or running joint squads. New equipment. This is Atomizer, a medium-range energy machine gun with terrific damage and accuracy. One thing, if you hold the trigger for too long, Atomizer will overheat and become less accurate. Let the Atomizer rest sometimes, so your projectiles don't go all over the place. Or just forget about it and shoot point blank. Get my drift? And the paint jobs. Graphite Phantom is for those who prefer night mode on their phones. And Sapphire Behemoth will look sublime with four fluxes. Get all that loot from the Icarus crates during the event. Pilot of the month. Virginia Walker is kind, empathetic and outstandingly rich Yandi girl. She could have chosen a still, opulent life, but everything changed for her once she saw walking war robots at the job. Although Virginia hates violence, she was mesmerized by skyscraping machines exercising their ballet of destruction. That was the moment. That's when she realized where she belongs. Nightingale, which was designed to save, not to hurt, became her robot of choice. Virginia will join the ranks of legendary pilots during the Icarus Expo. Now, let's not waste any more time. Join us at the Icarus Cyber Show. Here somewhere is the link to the update notes. Subscribe, hit the bell button, happy hunting commanders, and see you on the battlefield. And now the secret segment. Talking War Robots Blitz. Thriller Gaming asks, this isn't strictly related to the update, but remember last year when you talked about the three big updates per year. Is this year going to be the same, like three big updates? This year we stick with the release and update when it's ready plan. Same as before, we have two to four major features set for 2020. Although this time we aren't tying those features to any particular part of the year, we will ship them once we are sure they're ready. Lesser updates will mostly be connected to the events. Lunar New Year, WR Anniversary, Summer Event, Lore Focused Autumn Event, Halloween and Christmas are our six major yearly events. But there's going to be more. Lynn Diver asks, I wonder if Evil Life is thinking about making a Titan. Hmm, would be wonderful. And so do I believe that would be wonderful. Sea Daddy asks, There is a guy in my squad that sounds remarkably like Stan. It always makes me behave a little better when he's online, like Stan is watching. <laughs> That's wonderful. Anyway, I noticed that none of your robots have arms, except, of course, in the sense that they have armaments. But seriously, shouldn't a couple of bots have arms? Maybe they climb stuff or can really extend weapons up and or to the side with arms. Nice observation. We've beat you up to this question, though. Kit has arms. Kinda. As there's clearly more to try in arms and hands department, we believe there's more to explore than just boring old human-style grabbers. Hope you like tentacles. Just a husk asks, will there be a spider titan or a fast titan in the future? Hmm, maybe. The Pro Gamer 1. I really think this update is cool. The only thing I don't really like is the matchmaking. Like when I was level 21, I had titans on the enemy team and no one had a titan on my team. And we lost, but overall the game is still good. Thanks for reading. We feel your pain and we are working on getting better in this department. First, let's see how bringing iOS, Android and Amazon together will help. It should help. Uh, Nunu Cassius asks, can we get a black slash African-American legendary pilot? Uh, poor old Tobias Mangi always gets sidelined. Uh, but otherwise, the answer is yes. Another African-American pilot will join the ranks of legendaries very soon. Razor says, the bastions are coming. That's why they made Titans. That might be the case. See you soon, commanders.